weird. Um, yeah, I didn't realise the signing bonuses um, reset as well after a while. I thought you just do it. Um, Julius Pass, I give you packs from the latest box and unlocks background music setting features. What is this? What is this? Um, yeah, so I've definitely missed out on gems there for signing in, which really, really sucks. You can set dual background music of your choice. Use the music plan and increase the reward multiplier for jewels against standard jewelers for 45 for, for seven days. This jewelers pass available for a limited time. And blah, blah, blah. Okay, does it cost seven days trial first time only? Dual background music and blah, 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 blah. Otherwise, it's three ninety nine. Wait, what? Well, that blows. Um, let's have a little look at the boxes again. So, last we were here. We, oh whoops, I keep doing that. We would like another one of these, um, because it's actually really awesome. This is the big one we're waiting for. I've even been chipping away in the distance and no luck at all. It seems the luck only appears, um, you know, while I'm streaming. So there we go. Um, and we haven't unlocked any of the Charge of the Light Brigades, which I think was a pretty awesome card. Send the top three cards to your deck to the graveyard. Add more level four or lower light swarm monster from your deck to your hand, which is great. Um, yeah. And by the way, for anyone that does play this Drago, I'm not sure if you know or if anyone else has kind of logged in uh, since and is lurking in the background. What can you do with all your spare swaps? Because, I mean... Like, oh, I don't know how you look at your inventory. You've probably got to go into the deck edits, but I, I've got like 10 of some cards now. Obviously, the jellyfish. Uh, not the glossies, you know, I've got to keep the glossies. But yeah, like, what, what can I do with them? And look, I'm building up all this money. I, I don't know what to do with it, though. Like, it seems the only way I can use it is by tributing a lot of resources that I don't have. So this just looks like useless currency at the moment, which is kind of a pain in the backside. Um, boop, boop, boop. Hey, Turnip Girl is here. You are not late indeed. Turnip Girl, how are you doing? Or should I say Froggy? Uh, or Frog? No, Froggette. Froggy Turnip. I'm not too certain, but thank you so much for joining the Discord. It was really, really good to see you there. Going out of stress, driving in stress, so F today. Gotcha. <laughs> oh, I see Focus Issues is floating around as well. He's waiting for the... Gobble, gobble. What's that? Oh, hey. it's a turkey. The holy grail of wildlife. <laughs> yeah, I, I thought he was searching for the turkey. Focus issues. Jordan, good sir. How are you doing today? Um, you're four minutes late, actually. Wap, wap. <laughs> not banner of courage. Not important. Uh, turn it late. Fake family. Uh-oh. <laughs> Spare what? Um, what the hell? Big keys. Twitch. Judgment Force. Please tell me you don't play Blue Eyes. I do indeed, uh, Big Keys Twitch. Uh, this is actually still fairly new to me. So I started off with Seto Kaiba, um, obviously with Blue Eyes, and it just made sense to concentrate my gems into that. I've got a semi uh, Red Eyes Black Dragon deck, but as always, need spares for that too. Um, and I've got a Luna Light deck, which it barely functions, <laughs> so it's still very, very early days. <laughs> but at least I've got a Blue Eyes deck which makes sense and is somewhat consistent, which is nice. How long have you been playing the game for, uh, Big Keys Twitch? Um, I'll be honest, I think you just keep them. Really? All those spares? That really sucks. <laughs> Um, Froggy or Turnip works and doing great. You, yeah, not too bad on oh my side my either. Oh my days, I am such a boomer. <laughs> it's it, it's been a weird couple of days, honestly. Um, like on a personal level, like it's been draining, in a way, kind of exciting, but then also a little bit oh more draining. Oh my days, everyone I with am a boomer. Such a boomer, behave. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, some exciting news, like some or some of you might or might not know, like I say, I've got personal stuff sort of going on in the background, which is this <laughs> beautiful. Uh, it, it does make me say that. Um, but yeah, it's kind of restricting me, my personal circumstances. Um, now I've got something from the courts, meaning I can 
actually go ahead and start selling uh, the house that I have. I mean, without getting too much into it, it's things with the X. It's been a pain in the ass for ages. Um, and now I can finally get onto the next stage. And then once that's sold, oh God, no longer will I be as poor. <laughs> I'm not going to say I'm, I'll be rich. I won't be as poor. That's the big thing. That's the big things. Um, <laughs> but how dare you? <laughs> um, but, 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 lots of boomers, lots of rees. You, you can reset the box. Yeah, I'm down to 31 packs, Big Keys. But look, this is what, as you know, going for Blue Eyes, this is one of the, the, the big cards to go for. And I've got all the other Ultra Rares. This one's probably going to be the last pack in the box, but I'd be silly to reset the box at the moment um, when this is still floating around, when it was the main thing I needed. Um, so I'm hoping to be able to get this, get the other one of these, because I've only got one in the Lunar Light deck, get two of these, because I've got the Judgment Dragon from this uh, set as well. That would be really good as well, because I know this card can be a pain in the backside from when I used to play a while back. Um, go against it anyway. Um, I'm not sure if this one's any good, but it'll be good. In short, it'll be good if we could just get the Super Rares and the Blue Eyes Spirit Dragon before um, reaching the last pack in the box. So, on that note, shall we actually unlock these six packs while we're here? I mean, we're bound to get something, right? It will knock us down to 25 packs. Um, if anyone wants to use their points Little for luck. Oh, focus. As they say. How dare you. Kitten. Oh, good. Some of the blocking is actually happening. Kitten indeed. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, the house you have. Calm down with the flexing in it. Tr Trust me, there's no flexing. Um, uh, my, my, my life plan, Rickwood, was to get a house. It was to be with the happy ever after. Um, you know, pay it off in X amount of years. Preferably before I was 60. Purse, as they say. Hunting. Oh, focus! Just behave yourself, please, man. Please, now, now you're making me add other things. God damn it. I've got this page up now, so boom. Boom. Um, yeah, alright, sweet. <laughs> and you know what? We'll do that and that. Now, behave yourself. You, you are naughty. Uh, focus. I know your game. Um, but yeah, anyway, the whole thing with the house, yeah, it was supposed to be happy ever after. Pay off the house uh, before I retire, obviously, in good time, not 63. Um, and then, woo, don't have to remortgage or anything, but hey, sometimes life just you kicks you. And that is that. Has been timed out for one second. Oh, Rhodes flexing the mod there. <laughs> Poor focus, deleting messages. <laughs> what, all of them? Oh, jeez, I didn't get to catch up with that. Wow, you need to focus. <laughs> Bruce, you should play Banner of Courage of uh, Turbo. Turbo Banner of Courage? Jeez, what, what kind of deck is that? Anyway, anyone who wants to use some points for uh, for luck, let, let's do it. Six packs. Come on, we've got to get something decent out of this. I'm really hoping for Blue Eye Shining Dragon. I realise it's only a what 20 ish percent chance yeah it's about a 20 ish percent chance but let's go for it drago is has put in some points for the luck please let's do it this is not a good start but then again karibo is always a pain in the backside like there'll be the three they give the wink there's the bouncy one that comes and then we just get a standard rare out of it um oh see cayman well, we're almost out of jellyfishes. Oh, oh, we've got the three. But is it a ploy? Is it... Is it just nonsense? Let's find out. Amazon of the Seas. Masterful. It was a ploy indeed. Karibo, you just suck. <laughs> All right, going halfway through the packs already. Um, obviously, not a synchro floating around in the back there. Oh, another Lunar Light Fusion. We've got now four or five out of the six, I think. We've got three green bows. Come on. Oh, of course, we come in with the obligatory jellyfish. Uh, Minerva Light Swan Maiden. Orchestrated Einsatz. Excellent. All right, two more packs left. Not even a suit. Oh. Is, is there a ban? There is a ban. Oh. 
there's no synchro there. Could it be could it be this little this little guy around here? Maybe it's this little guy here. I think I think that'll be quite nice. Hey, there we go. We've got a super rare. <laughs> nice. Focuses and Drago's luck has come through. I mean, it's not quite a blue eye shining dragon, but it was good to get a super rare. At, at least we're chipping away at the box, chipping away at it slowly. Solar recharge. Yeah, got a load of those. Okay, so still none of those. Still waiting that. Still awaiting this crazy critter. Hot damn, hot damn. All right, so what do you guys reckon? I mean, we've got 25 packs left. Um, we can either go gem hunting, because I saw there was Lunar Deck jewels that you can use, um, and just try and farm that, but obviously that's against computer players, so I don't want that to be boring content. Or we could just go... Um, I mean, I don't know what the event's about. It's something about causing damage with Utopia. Obviously, I haven't, uh, I'm not sure if we get to use... Uh, what's his face? His deck, Astral, Astral's deck, or whatever the main guy with the, the hair is. Um, or we could go straight into ranked duels. Um, yeah, I don't know. What do we reckon? Redeem the hydrate. Ooh, focus. Thank you very much for taking care of my health. Focus with the Metal Gear Solid Sam, just in case I am. Um, just in case I missed the hydrate there. But thank you very, very much indeed. Um, yeah, what's everyone's opinion? What shall we do? Um, I mean, yeah, this is floating around saying you could get this, but eh. Uh, what's helpful tips? Helpful features? KC report dual column. Nah, 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 nah. Okay, fine. <clears throat> fine, fine, fine. Uh, so, don't see anyone offering any suggestions so how about then we just go straight in for a ranked duel um bruce heads up you're in trouble why am i in trouble focus what happened what did i do oh f this shit i'm out <laughs> i shall not ruin it but oh dear oh god focus what happened what happened tell you what what, why are you? I don't know what it is that's been ruined or will be ruined, but I, I am intrigued, to say the least. Oof! It's the bronze round six. You'll see. Oh no, focus. Oh no. Oh no. Ah. <laughs> uh, oh. On a different note. Oh. 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 On a different note. Um. Drago. That he's more Ooh. bark than bite. Kaiba, it's time I put your stinking, stinking mug, mug in his place. place. Duel. Here I go. It's my turn. All right, come. Let's not draw anything. So I think we can go straight for that. We'll set this, and then end the face. So sorry. Yes, what I was saying is at the end of my last stream. Um, a few of you have asked if I had anything planned for, like, a Halloween stream or whatever. Um, there's a couple of games I've put on the wish list. Uh, one which was... Oh god, not Cyber Harpies. Uh, not Cyber Harpy, there's no such deck as a Cyber Harpy. Um, but, yes. Uh, I mean, Back for Blood is an option. Obviously, we've played that before as a demo. Um, but also... There was an, a, a fairly new alien game, which is like multiplayer, where you go through hordes of aliens, um, kind of similar to Back for Blood, I guess. Um, and yeah, I figured that would be also quite funky, but if no one has it for me to be able to play with, then that's a bit of an issue. So yeah, oh, what did I miss? Story time! Oh, God. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, okay. Um, let me give you this. Oh, God. Um, <laughs> I, I shall deal with story time very shortly, Rhodes. Very shortly. Um, first of all, let's do this. We do this. Um, let's just go full hand, shall we? I don't think there's anything that could be 
activated from the hand with this style of deck. Um, boom, boom. My monster's effect activates. Okay, and then we're going to get the super shiny one. Of course, of course. Not a single card can stand up to this. And then we get the funky, the funky little FMV. I do love it. I do love it indeed. And of course, we'll then also go for this. Beautiful stuff. Beautiful. <laughs> Not a single card can stand up to three of these. Um, so, we could do that, but I think we're just going to go straight for the battling. So, boom. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Whoops. Good game, good game. Yeah, to be fair, that kind of sucked for our opponent. Uh, if there was nothing to be able to set to kind of counter that. Um, I mean, what can you do? <laughs> what can you do against three monsters like that? Uh, and I had an enemy controller as well to be able to tribute just in case and steal their monster. But yeah, there we go. Fair enough. And rank up. Beautiful. I mean, sure, it's not a lot. Rank six. <laughs> but we'll, t we'll take what we can. We'll take what we can. Ooh. Hello. Ah, we've got normal Karibo again. Excellent. <laughs> Thank you, Rickwood. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> anyway, 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 oh, anyway. What's that? Oh, it's a turkey. Oh, also my PC has returned. That's good to hear, Focus. I thought you were going to say that I was in trouble. <laughs> like, did, did your PC actually blow up? <laughs> um... Man, I'm a story time favourite character, apparently. Of course, Draco, of course. Uh, you've always got to be included. <laughs> Fair. Focus with the hype. Re <laughs> I have to reinstall everything on my PC. Ouch. Oof, oof, oof. Okay. Right. Right, right, right. Before we get anything into anything, let's, uh, you know, let's give the people... Uh, whatever. I won't, I won't change it to just chatting. We'll have Yu-Gi-Oh! theme tune in the background here why not um and i think that would be great right um i just wanna how many how many do i have to get up to is it is it like rank nine before i then go on to um what's it called before i go on to silver no idea but i do need to get a move on do need to get a move on indeed uh boom uh, oh, boom. Yeah, excellent. Thank you very much. Okay, sweet. So, the story time, people. The story time. Let's have a little look. Keywords. Bruce, Dan, Drago, focus issues, potato, jetpack, unicorn, socks, RPG, violin. <laughs> what the hell, Rhodes? <laughs> Okay, so there's the four of us. There's a potato, a jetpack, unicorn, socks, RPG, violin. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. 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 You've given me some interesting things to work with, right? Got to challenge the boomer brain. It's true. If not, then I'll forget, you know, when to stream. I'll forget what I even do for a living. You know, got to keep that brain going. Like chess. This is 5D chess at uh, the story time each time. All right. Okay, excellent. Excellent. <laughs> Well, this mission looks appropriate, don't you think? Dan reaches up and exclaims uh, as he 
takes the mission from the notice board. The oh! Heroic man of our times, the master ah. of darkness fighting back against oh. the tragic world. It's James. <laughs> Focus with the gift sub to Vincent. Even though he was banned for one second, that has not stopped him from contributing to the channel. Focus, thank you very much. You know, I super appreciate it as always. Um, and Vincent, well, hopefully when they come back to the, the um, uh, or when they were on next, whether it's today or another day, they'll see it and go, focus, thank you. <laughs> but no, seriously, dude, as always, thank you very much for the support. <laughs> God, I've lost my train of thought now. <laughs> so, yes. <laughs> Dan grabs the, the mission from the notice board excitedly. The others huddle. We have Dan, the, the warrior class. We have Bruce, the healer. Drago, the mage. And Focus, the tank. I mean, literally, he is a tank. The, the, the group huddle, contemplate it, and go, you know what? This will pay for dinner. Let's do it. And without knowing what the mission was to our dear listeners, our group go forth to fulfill this mission. They go on yonder, through the pastures, slaying goblins, levelling up, gaining the experience, then slaying some more boars, levelling up, gathering experience, until they come across a new town. They still haven't found their mission objective yet. And they figure now will be a good time to stock up, as they'd all were walking so heavily, so sweatily, so readily, that they'd actually burn through their socks. I don't know how that is possible. That is a lot of walking. They've got holes in them, that, and they need a good tailor for new socks, new footwear. You know, it would probably help if they actually wore shoes, boots, or sandals. But no, they just go around in socks. Bruce decides to deal with the sock matter, while the other three take a table at a nearby, nearby tavern. And this was a rather jestful area. It was rather odd, there was no monsters, no panic in the town, or the bar, everyone was drinking, carefree. There was the uh, cantina band, and everything was just happy. When suddenly, Bruce returns, in the gasp. He says to our other party, uh, to the other members of the party, Guys, we are in trouble here. Not only are there no socks, but it's actually all a ruse. The cantina band, at this point, were actually spying on our heroes. They were still playing a rather ditty tune, uh, some might say from a trademarked film of some sorts. A movie franchise, Disney owned franchise. But in reality, they were to make sure no one was to stir up trouble or become a problem for the master plan. The Cantina Band then attack our heroes. Battle music plays. I think it was the beginning to Final Fantasy, uh, a Final Fantasy battle or something similar. It was quite odd. Uh, considering this was happening to our heroes in real time. But this is what happened nonetheless, and they had to take turns to defeat the Cantina Band. Before the battle even started though, Drago had a trick up his sleeve. He actually stole one of the instruments from the Cantina Band, and was ready to use it against them. For some strange reason it was a violin. It, it seemed to be a wind instrument band? So why he got a violin was anyone's guess. Hey, maybe it was a pickpocket skill. Who knows? They had a violin on standby just in case people didn't like the wind instruments. Either way, the battle had begun. It was the cantina band to start. 
it was four of them as well to match our party. Otherwise that would be unfair, especially in a town event. The oboist goes first and simply plays a song. It was not very effective. No status effects had encumbered our heroes. Dan then goes first, which is unfortunate as he's the healer. No, he's not. He's the mage. <laughs> no, he's not. He's the warrior. <laughs> so it's not unfortunate whatsoever. <laughs> he decides to strike with Sunsteel Shatter Blast. It's effectively just a sword slash. And he really hated the oboe, so... With one fell swoop, with his battle cry, his re, <laughs> he slashed the oboist in half. This reduced the morale of the three remaining cantina band members. This then got one of the the hero's team members to strike ahead. This time, it was Drago. And with his black magic, he then pelted a projectile at the would have been violinist. I think he actually had a saxophone, um, but no, no one really cared at this point. This projectile struck the violinist slash saxophonist. Saxophonist? Is that even a word? I don't know. But it got him straight in the noggin. This projectile was of the... Um, spud variety and was super effective instantly knocking out and making our saxophonist uh, very tasty bruce turns to jago and says a potato what kind of mage are you aren't you supposed to study in the elemental arts and rain destruction down jago just shrugs his shoulders and you know starts playing the violin as a, a retort so it obviously came handy because it gave a buff to our party. This then forced Focus to go next. As he was a tank, literally he used his attack, which was missile, straight into the party. This was also very effective. Not super effective, but it got the two remaining members of the Cantina Band into critical status. Unfortunately, even though they were in critical status, it was the turn of the Dijeridooist. He simply straight went straight up to Bruce and struck him on the face with the Dijeridoo. I say struck on the face because he literally just poked it in a motion. Not a thwacking motion, but just a... Because <laughs> it was super... <laughs> It, it, it was super slimy as well, hence the Bruce was left disgusted with his status. <laughs> Bruce then thought, right, as the healer, I need to go next. That 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 really, really disgusted me. Sure I only lost one hit point, but I need to recover from this curse. Luckily for Bruce, it did indeed become his turn. He then gave a whistle. <laughs> it was obviously a special mage whistle that only other mages could and healers could understand. The purse, as they say. I've sent you the sound clip I want. I cannot wait, Focus. Quite odd as you're a tank, I don't know how you was able to type that. With all of Bruce's magic points. He summoned the healing unicorn of carrot cakeness. This unicorn strode in through the tavern as if it was just a member. And she For bestowed carrot cake. carrot cake upon all of our party members. I mean, three of them had full health, but they were left with a buff also from the carrot cake. They got all the buffs from this carrot cake because carrot cake is just a, such a special cake. 
and Bruce also recovered from his one hit point of damage and from the curse. The fourth member of the Cantina Band left on turn one used their escape option and their wind instrument the, the tuba then duplicated into a second tuba and with one mighty breath this cantina band member blew into both of them and acted like a jetpack to propel them through the roof of the tavern probably leaving them concussed but they did escape from the battle This left one member of the Cantina Band left in critical stasis. It turns back into Dan's turn with high initiative roll. And again, with one big re, Dan rolls a 20. Critical damage against this one didgeridoo user and was slain instantly. And with that music coming out of nowhere, the team knew they had won. Not only that, but Dan realised that the contract he took off the notice board just vanished instantly, and a large pile of gold swarmed our heroes. They were rich and could afford all the socks they want. Turns out the Cantina Band was their objective all along. And our heroes can now have comfort once more. Oh baby, oh baby. <laughs> Oh, it was Rhodes. I thought it was um, Focus that actually sent the clip. But Rhodes, no, cool, awesome. I know you've used your points and we've still got back to clear. So um, I will turn that into a sound clip when possible. Thank you so much. Excellent. Somehow I was able to pull that story. <laughs> I don't know how, but I was able to. Um... <laughs> Rickwood really milking the re there. <laughs> oh, I shall accept the points now. <laughs> awesome. Um, okay, yeah, cool, cool, cool. I mean, you've sent it to me, so we'll then sort it for the next stream. Oh, my days. I am such a boomer. No, no <laughs> boomering here. It's completely fine. Completely fine. <laughs> All right, so... We are 40 minutes into the stream already, and only had one game. Um, hmm, what should we do? Shall we do another game? Let's, let's do another ranked match to celebrate a story time. <laughs> oh dear. So speaking of stories, I know it's still the beginning-ish of the week, but have you guys got anything else lined up? Uh, Rickwood, are you actually back from... Uh, from Vicky's parents' place. I'm not sure if you're still in the same vicinity or if you had to travel anywhere, but yeah, either of you got any plans as well as anyone else in the chat? One winner, and you're looking at him. Excellent. Let's go. Let's go. Get ready. Oh gosh, me first again. All right. Set. Uh, let's do this. Why not? Marvellous. And then end turn. I end my turn. My turn. No, it's my turn. Oh god, he always says that. I've noticed that when trying to play as him in the campaign, it's quite cringy. I, I don't think they say anything else. It's my turn. No, it's my turn. From my hand, I oh, not these guys. I actually beat one of these the other day. Um, which was good. But yeah, these are quite hard to overcome. Quite hard to overcome indeed. I think there's like a 3600 attacker monster as well, based on certain effects. 
You can also mine that in addition to your normal summon. Oh my god. It's like, let's banish it. Um, yeah, yeah, I'll, I can let you have that, that's fine. I need me a Cosmic Cyclone. I think that's a really, really good card to have. Stay focused, Yuma. Don't worry about me. Let's Does this one stop effects? Because if so, then I'm probably dead immediately off the bat. <laughs> uh, during opponent's turn, you can talk on if you do blah 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 blah. This one. Oh, okay, fine. Yeesh. Well, not quite sure how I'm going to deal with this. So I don't really have a lot at the moment. It would be good to get a blue eyes out and just blast the field. Just because. That for this, yep. Uh, monster deck to your hand, you draw one card, then discard one card. I know. I activate my oh god. Oh god. <laughs> At this moment, I activate a, a field spell. spell. Does it bounce it back in again? That's the one that does, like, stupid. Um, what's it called? has stupid attack points with in combination with others on the field. I end my turn. I mean, let's see what happens. Probably going to get obliterated in this turn, but we'll see. I wonder then if this is one of the the big tiers. And by big tiers at the moment is I see quite a few people um, use try mid decks. There's a lot of gloss here as well. I like that. Uh, can I activate an effect? It would be good if I can. No, I cannot. Ooh, dear, that, that blows. That really blows. Um... If you can show battle as your opponent's cards and effects cannot be activated until the end of the damage step. Yeah, that really sucks. That is so bad. So I think it's safe to say we're probably dead, maybe. I wonder what we can actually draw from our hand. Malefic? Uh, not Malefic. What's it called? Uh, alternative Blue Eyes? That would be quite nice now. Well, that's that's one in a, one in fifteen chance. Activate skill. That would be a thirty-three. No, still a twenty-five percent chance there. Let's just draw and see what happens. Oh god. <laughs> well, that is a big shame. Go on, end turn. It is completely fine. The thing is, it's not worth surrendering because you get other bonuses for at least completing the duel. And I think that's to make sure that you go through. Um, I my what's the word? The whole duel rather than just starting it, surrendering to get certain bonuses. So, yeah, we'll, we'll continue. We'll continue. At this moment, I activate a field spell. Oh my god, come on. And now we're literally just waiting for all of this to happen. I'll play this. I special summon a monster. Is it their turn yet? Now, I think. I activate a field spell. <laughs> just do the thing already. Come on. So yeah, it's probably safe to say that. I know. I took over my set card. I activate a continuous trap. Shuffle into the deck, then draw one card. 
Yeah, I do not care. Come on. Hmm. Um. You know what? Let's activate it. I didn't see what was actually looked at. Enter the code. Left, right, A, B. Let's just do that because we can. We'll at least show that we've got nothing. Oh, pardon me. See, all of that within my turn, it's like, come on. <laughs> you know you've won, just do it. And are you going to do it now? Okay, finally. Oh. You don't need to tell me twice. Take this direct attack. My God. <laughs> oh well, that was painful to just sit through, but it is what it is. I know the triads are very, very funky. Um, I should have given a nice there at least, but. I'm not going to lie, I was just in the mode of, this is taking so long, come on, let me just have another match already, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I just need to speed up at least. Oh dear. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Um, let's duel, uh, shall we duel again? Hmm. I mean, we've got an hour left, which hopefully, oh, well, an hour and ten minutes left. I don't know, guys. Are we still into Yu-Gi-Oh? I feel like I should be ripping through those gems before... Oh, sorry. Ripping through the outstanding tasks of gems. Uh, gem collecting before anything. So I can either keep on going through that. Or we can choose to do something else. But I don't know. What's, what's your guys' thoughts? Uh, or what are your thoughts, rather, on that? Are you quite happy with Yu-Gi-Oh? Oh! Communication timed out. Loss? <laughs> wait, wait a second. <laughs> I think that's a bit of an omen, really, isn't it? Hot damn. Uh, what, what do you mean? I, why would there be a quiz for communication issues? <laughs> this will help your, uh, your connections, I'm sure. Okay, here we go, here we go. Ones rank one from Poland. Alright, let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Ooh, I like that. Uh, oh, my turn again? Why am I always going first? Uh, so let's set... Unfortunately, there's not really too much we can do. I've changed this deck, I, th I think it was this particular deck, so I've only got one Master with Eyes of Blue in my deck. So I'd rather keep that for pulling maybe Sage with Eyes of Blue out of the graveyard or something similar. I summon a monster in attack position. Oh, of course, it is Red Eyes. Cool, cool. I'm up for this kind of duel. I set a card face down. I set a card. Oh my. Scary field. Let's battle. Okay, so definitely gonna have to let this go through. I attack your life points directly. Uh, God, you can have that. That's completely fine. Will Seto Kaiba lose to Joey? Will it be worse than getting banished to the Shadow Realm? Get ready. My turn. Uh, well, we do not need. To... Oh, that was that's perfect though. We'll we'll happily have that. Um, let's do that. I would really like another one of these blue eyes alternate 
uh, alternative white dragons as well. I think that would be quite nice for the deck. Um, what does this have? If a level 7 or lower realized monster you control is destroyed by your opponent's attack, blah 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 blah. Um, I've got to remember what's up with these. You know what, we're just gonna... Yeah, uh, you know what, we'll go for the attack, we'll go for the attack, it's fine. Now, will they stop it? Oh, okay, we made the right choice then. That's nice. Okay. Right, cool. End turn. There we go, done. I end my turn. No one messes with Joey Wheeler. It's my turn. Let's go, Joey. Show me that Brooklyn brawling spirit. That was not a Brooklyn accent whatsoever. <laughs> Really? It's my turn. Draw. All right. Well, we'll go for the summon. I summon a monster in attack position. And then go to battle. battle. <laughs> really? Do those two not help? Oh! Okay, fine. Done! Alright, so it was more... It probably wasn't a bluff, but... It at least was something... Oh! Hello there! Hey! Tired Mum Gamer, how are you doing? It's good to see you. Um... Like I said, it was really frustrating not to be able to see your stream because of the connection issues. Like, I was actually kind of there, kind of ready, um, and alas, <laughs> uh, issues happen. But how's your day been, Tired Mum Gamer? What is going on? And how was your shift the other day also? Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. Go on, let's duel again, why not? Why not? Why not? So at the moment we're doing some Yu-Gi-Oh, but I'm not sure if... Uh... Oh, sorry about that. Got the Wi-Fi figured out later. Oh, cool. So was it actually an issue that you could fix? Or was it just something that just blew up temporarily <laughs> for no reason whatsoever? Oh, did we actually... There we go. Okay, cool. So, you know, before that rank game, uh, we ended up taking a loss because we had connection issues and we ranked up from doing absolutely nothing. I love it. <laughs> and we got uh, a normal glossy. We'll take that. Why not? Work was, woo, no empty bed in the hospital. Ah, that, that sucks. That really sucks. Uh, I think I need a Wi-Fi booster in the future if I want to stream from my PC. Uh, otherwise, I have to sit at the kitchen table. Oof. <laughs> yeah, probably not comfortable. Uh, I'm not sure if you're around for my issues that I had, but um, I ended up having to get an Ethernet cable. So even though where I'm living at the moment isn't my property, it's with uh, Paula's mum, the Wi-Fi kept on cutting in and out. And it got to one point on a Saturday where literally it cut seven or eight times you know in twitch you could download your video afterwards i had seven or eight videos that i could download um just over the span of two or three hours i think um and yeah the ethernet cable has helped a lot so i would heavily suggest that um if you can because wi-fi can blow in the, the best of circumstances oh dear i think even with a wi-fi booster in this place it still wouldn't be wise uh. So have you got work later on today? Or, or are you planning on streaming later on today? <laughs> oh sorry, my laptop doesn't have an ethernet cable. 
Uh, oh, what? It, as in, it doesn't have a connection? Really? Aren't all like, laptops supposed to have that? Oh, another quick victory. Excellent. Is it a quick victory? Yes, 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 yes. Keep them coming. Keep them coming. Oh, oh, we nearly get silver rank one. Can we do it? I'm actually getting quite excited for this now. Especially if it's just dropped, dropped, dropped connections. <laughs> you know? Let's do it while the servers are bugging out. <laughs> I think we're actually going to play the sun. There we go. We've actually got a match. How about that? Oogie, Uggie. Bronze rank two. Thankfully I'm off work for a few days. Nope, no slot. So weird. My first new laptop in a long time. But, but yeah, why would a new lap win and you'll gain a rank? There's only one champion, and that's me. Oh can we can we rank up to silver straight away? I mean it's gonna be tough because it's a mirror match. But we'll see. We'll see. Here we go. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't expect an, a brand new laptop to not have an Ethernet cable slot. That is just madness. Um, Alright, let's not summon this. Change phase, end turn. Alright, alright, alright. Have you got anything planned? Um, Tired Mum Gamer for those few days or is it just a case of that's how the road turned out and you've got a few days off in a row speaking of which I'm working tomorrow and then I've got Thursday Friday off because I need to start using up some oh you're using red eyes okay um, what was I saying yeah because I needed to use some holiday up and um, yeah, then it's Saturday, Sunday for the weekend, and then Monday's bank holiday, so I don't get to work for five days, which is nice. Okay, this is kind of rough to go against immediately. Hmm. Uh, yes, please. Okay, so at least we'll get a blue eyes up, but I don't know what we could do against this. In all honesty, maybe the Azure Eyes Dragon thing? Hmm, but I wonder how we're going to get over that. It would be nice to rank up after this match, but yeah, first turn. Red Eyes slash Dragon is kind of rough. Kind of rough indeed. I mean, we'll be able to ram into it, but the problem is this would still stand because of the... Oh! Uh, Can we put this in defense mode? Uh, defense, wing beast, and thunder type. Yeah, okay. Okay, okay, okay. We can do that. Or we could normal summon. No, that, that makes no sense. Uh, special summon. Okay, cool. So we do this. We do this, and I don't think, I'll play this. I, think we'll summon a monster. I think we'll be in a bit of a stalemate for a moment, because he's got 3200 attack, or well, sorry, they've got 3200 attack, I've got 3200 defense. My monster's effect activates. Yeah, okay. Oh, it's their turn. Have they got the ultimate providence thing? No. Okay, cool. Oof. Okay, then we would have been completely ripped apart. <laughs> I end my turn. Uh, we may then drop the mountains to cool off. Uh, still super hot here, around 35 uh, Celsius for UK peeps. Ouch. Yeah, that, that's pretty warm. That is that's pretty spicy, I must admit. Sounds really good going up the mountains. Hot damn. The boys all like hiking. 
Ah, oh, that's good. That's good. Wait, what just happened there? Uh oh. Watch closely. What? What did I miss? I special summon a monster. Oh. What's this? Uh, declare an attack. So there's no. Cannot declare an attack. Other monsters you control cannot declare an attack. My monster attacks. Here's my face down. Trap activates. So no Why would you have no other monsters attacking with Malefic Red Eyes Black Dragon? What is going on here? I end my turn. Get ready. My turn. Draw. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit confused at the moment. Um so we're best off leaving this on the field because ah no 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 we're not gonna <laughs> why would we stop our own um, monster that makes no sense um yeah okay I mean I could do that and that get rid of that so if we set this, proceed to the battle phase. Let's attack over here. Then I mean, I'll be able to use that and bring it back again. I wonder if they've got a level 7 exceed summon monster, perhaps. But then, yeah, I, d I don't know. This, like, again, this is a very, very strange duel. Very, very strange duel. Oh, hey, Drago. <laughs> He's back. I'm still kind of lurking, but hi. <laughs> Alright, let's see what's going on here. But what are you going to battle? Are you going to battle this? Okay, so... That is fine. That is fine, that is fine, that is fine. So I will catch up with chat. I'm just, I'm just trying to think what I can do at the moment, and it's not really a lot. I mean, I could run into this one. This card is struck about all the card effect. You can special summon as many monsters from your graveyard as possible that were equipped to that card. Yeah, I can't really get rid of that because then it could get special summoned again with the return of red eyes. Um, which I'm not really a fan of. But then again, maybe I can just get rid of that anyway. Yeah, you know what, screw it. See to that phase. We're gonna do it, why not? We're gonna do it. We'll let him attack with this again. Okay. I special summon a monster. Uh, continue to attack, yeah. Except, let's go for this one this time. Watch and learn. Uh, is that the best you got? This game is so confusing. What is going on? I don't get it. <laughs> Here I go. It's my turn. Draw. I don't, what's going on here? Uh, I'm gonna let because the kid I wants to do Minecraft with me. Ah, oh, fair enough. Hey, we get to rank up silver. <laughs> and that is the strategy. That is the strategy. We'll send a nice anyway, because I'm sure that was an interesting red eyes deck that they had. But yeah, that was that was very odd to say the least. Excellent stuff. Silver, silver, silver. <laughs> there we go. Beautiful stuff. Destroy one monster from the investigation report. Beautiful. Indeed, indeed. Okay, I think we get a silver um, goodie bag now, which is nice. Oh, look at that, we've got a silver wolf. Lovely. So, boom. Boom. What else do we get? Play five PvP jewels. So, five gems. Get a little, a little corgi or... There we go. There we go. Oh, don't I get gems for hitting silver? I thought there was something about 
Maybe that was the weekly missions from last week. That really sucks if that's the case. God damn it! <laughs> oh dear, alas, alas. Let's catch up with Chapman momentarily. Um, he's doing pro play. Stop questioning. <laughs> Just don't kill the axolotl. I won't. I want to make a proper home for it now. Maybe I'll make a Minecraft too. Hmm. Ooh, what do they have? Ax, ax, oh, I don't know, even though I pronounce it. Do, do they have axolotls um, in Minecraft? Then I never knew that. It's been a while since I've played. Um, you renamed the Discord. What oh, damn? <laughs> ah, I didn't rename oh the Discord. Oh my days! I am such a boomer. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't rename the Discord. I renamed the Nightbot thing. So yes, it's nice and con um, or conciser. Come join the Boomer Brigade Discord. <laughs> yeah. Um, Bruce, 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 I could be back if, I, I can't be back if I never left. That is true. Or, well, returned from lurk mode. Uh, fitting. What a cheater. What do you mean, cheater? Yes, they do now. Ah, oh, nice. Yeah, they added them. They added a lot. Ah, oh, we should do Minecraft at some point. I would definitely be up for that. Ah. Oh. So, out of interest, do you actually have a zoo then, uh, Tiger Mom Gamer, with your son? Like, do you... Have you? Has he rather got it all set out, like what he wants, all of that sort of good stuff? Oh, there we go, silver rank up, celebration gift. We got fifty. Oh, oh. We can do two more packs, people. We can do two more packs. Oh god, what's all this? Jewel by regions. Let's just receive all of them. Lovely stuff. Lovely stuff indeed. All right, to the shop. Come on, I'm excited. I'm excited. <laughs> yes, it'll only be like a, what, a 10% hit, not even that, of getting the blue eyes. Uh, so I, I forget what it's even called. I keep on renaming it each time. <laughs> Judgment Force. Blue eyes Shining Dragon, is it? Or Blue eyes Spirit Dragon. That's the one. Let's do it. Two packs, two packs, two packs. Less than a 10% chance. We've got the three Karibos, so that's... I mean, it's not exactly promising, but... Well... Oh! So we've got a second Super Rare. Okay, we're clearing through the Super Rares, then. And then this one's basic. Jellyfish. No. Boom. Boom. And more purple butterflies. Okay, so we only need four more cards from the pack. Beautiful. Uh, now I just did my, oh, no, I just did my day two yesterday of Minecraft. Ah, fair enough, fair enough. So I just been talking about playing Minecraft with chat. Oh, nice, nice. Or with Discord. Yeah, that would be so fun. It would be good, it would be so good, wouldn't it, honestly. Um, and I think we need to do that as a community uh, sort of thing. But speaking of community, I've got this Saturday all downloaded and ready, so I've got, um, what's it, uh, party pack, uh, Jackbox Party Pack 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, I've got Fibbage XL, um, is it Drawage 2, and there was another, or oh, Drawful, sorry, Drawful, and there was something else which looked funky, Quiplash, yeah, I think it was Quiplash which looked pretty awesome, so this Saturday should be pretty funky, I think. Pretty funky. And then, yeah, I would love to do more community stuff, whether it be Minecraft. I know Focus Issues was talking about sorting a server for us, possibly, uh, that we can all dip in and out of. Um, and we can all stream from it as well. You know, obviously it's got to be trusted people in the Discord, but I think that would be pretty funky, wouldn't it? Yeah, I'm down for that. I can hold down some science trivia. I, I can't hold down any science. I know B is for biology. AU is gold. H2O. Hydrogen, two molecules, and an oxygen molecule. Yeah. That's my science knowledge. <laughs> we'll have to harass roads for a bit. <laughs> I, I, I'm down for that. Bruce never passed first grade. <laughs> Why do you think I've bec I'm becoming a streamer now? <laughs> oh dear. 
Oh dear indeed. Okay, what ch what's this free lottery by the way? Shall we see if we get anything good from this lottery? I'm feeling the flow, episode one. Oh god. Whoever can open this door will gain a great new power. But know that with such a reward comes great risk. Um, great risk? Ah. Ouch. Weird dream. Huh. At least I'm up for now and late for school. I've got big chungus here. Yuma, wanna race to class? Bronk, yeah, okay. I'm feeling the flow. God, I feel dirty inside saying it like that. <laughs> Jump over 20 volt boxes and you set the new school record. That record's going down, because I'm about to high five the sky. Do I really have to go through all of this? Why do you do those dares, Yuma? Why not? It's good fun! It's fun to crash into all those boxes? No, but to be great you gotta take chances because I wanna be the greatest, Tori! And with this golden key, one day I will be! That's the key your parents gave you, right? That they found on one of their expeditions? Yep, and you know what it unlocks? Potential! Because this key's part of me! With it, I'm good to go! With it, I feel the flow! Oh. God. And I'll high five the sky. Stop beating yourself. Every champion of the world, God. Oh, this hurts. This hurts. Spin the roulette and jewel. Advance to the areas and get rewards. Oh, cool. So it's like Mario Party, kind of. Thank you. Free spins. What do we get? So, ZW Leo Arms and Gilla, Gilla Glancer or something. All right, three, let's go. Looks pretty basic to me, but fine. Ah, remove trap. And of course, a shiny, dark chimera, glossy. Tribute, 1610 attack, 1460 defense. Who else can stand up to this, this beast? Um. Is there actually anything here we want? I mean, having Ultra Res is always nice, right? But Adora Destiny, Category Dragon, Gila Glasser, Cat Girl Magician, Insecto Gila Adolchi. I'm glad they don't really. I've, I've noticed that with the lotteries recently. They don't offer cards in a. What's the word? Exactly that of the of the re archetype. They, they just offer random ones. Like you can't just build a deck off of it, which kind of blows. God, what's the roulette then? All right, stop it. Woo! We get a bonus times two. You have guts for showing up, but not the brains, because you're now going to lose your deck by winning the duel. All right, let's do hard mode. Summon three monsters in one jewel. Summon two monsters in one jewel. Summon one monster in a jewel. Excellent stuff. C is for chemistry. A G is silver. <laughs> exactly. There we go. <laughs> I'm glad we're on the same wavelength time, I'm gamer. <laughs> oh, Rickwood, while you're here, actually, are you going to be joining us for the um, Jackbox party goodness on me. Saturday? Here we go. Will Vicky want a piece of action as well? I'm facing a worthy opponent. The oh. nobly heroic man of our time. Oh. The master of darkness turn. fighting back against the tragic world. It's James. It's little Barnabas. <laughs> Look at this. Little Barnabas. Hang it up with the, the four month streak. Thank you very much, sir. My dude. My boy. My son. How are you? How's life been treating you? What's been going down since last you've popped into stream? Dude, it's been so long, man. <laughs> I've missed you. I've missed you. What has been going on, though? Seriously, dude. I hope all's been well. Oh, doing oh doing Saturday, uh, I don't know if I told you yet. I don't think you have, Jago, but that is good. That is good to hear, man. Uh, it's going to be awesome. It's going to be really, really cool. I can't wait. Honestly. 
turn. Here I go. It's my turn. All right, let's go, Shock Man. Here's Drill Barnacle. All right. Time to bet Drill Barnacle. Oh. Each time Scud takes attack damage to a opponent by direct attack, this guard gains a thousand attack. When Drill Barnacle deals direct damage, it gains attack points. With that, I end my turn. Okay, so I can't summon two. Oh my god, am I actually going to lose this? Um, let's normal summon, so at least I can tribute summon next, right? Um, chain trays. And turn. Oh god. Oh god. Check this out. Alright, please not. This kind of sense again. Target one face up monster your opponent controls that target loses 500 attack. Oh okay, fine. Ow! <laughs> then it's gonna gain Oh god! This is this is horrendous! <laughs> um activate that, yes please. And we are going to special summon the last one from our deck because we can then do high level draw and get the Malefic. I think we are oh, not Malefic. I keep calling it Malefic. Is it alternative Blue Eyes White Dragon? Or can we only get a normal monster? Oh god! I need to stop. I need to stop this! Oh god! I need something badly. Can I do... Oh good, I can activate skill. Draw a random monster. Well, it can't be It can't be random, because there's only one left. There we go. There's the good stuff. Okay. Uh, so, what's the point? This card's name becomes Blue Eyes White Dragon while it's on the field or in the graveyard. So, special summon. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. And then I can just do two attacks, right? Yeah. I can definitely do two attacks, so boom over here, boom over here, and then that is it, 1500. Maybe it's not actually, I can't count. Um... So this card can make up to two attacks on monsters during each battle phase. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so first, activate effect. Uh, so, boom, get rid of you, thank you. When swims away, it lowers a monster's attack point. That is completely fine. Um, in fact, what am I doing? I could just do this, right? And then just do a really big attack. Of boom, boom, boom. Uh, so, yes. Yes. Boom, boom. Okay, good. As long as there's no direct attack in <laughs> of 1200, then we're good. We're good. Alright, end turn. So everyone's a bit depressed here. I'm sorry, the what? <laughs> oh god. Oh god, what's going on? Leviathan Dragon, yep, yeah, cool. I use one overlay unit to activate the fire. When Needle Sunfish swims away, it lowers a mine. There still has to be a way to win. Ah! My turn. Okay, cool. I draw. Um, so, I can't really do anything here. <laughs> um, so, boom. And this is from the deck anyway, right? So. You can banish this card from your graveyard and target one blue eyes monster in your graveyard, add it to your hand, you can use blah 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 blah. Okay, fine, we shall set right. Um proceed to the battle phase, yep, because then we can still take this out. Um and then that's it, we can't attack anymore. Change phase, enter. Excellent, excellent. Stop talking about kitty gloves. <laughs> oh god, not this business again. Here's Drill 
Oh no. Oh, okay. I thought it was going to attack directly then. Excellent stuff. So, can I go through it? Yes, I can. So, flip summon. Who would have thought I'd be having such trouble against a computer player? Boom. Boom. Okay. It's mainly because of our hand. We just drew so many high level monsters and then couldn't attack the dual barnacle thing. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, so we did the hard mode. Excellent, excellent stuff. And what points do we get then? Um, so destroy five monsters. Excellent. My last. Excellent. Do we double bonus, double bonus? So do we pick up things across the way? Oh, we do. Nice. Oh god. Now, who to duel today? Yuma, look at who Bronx dueling. Aero Shark, dig in on that chump. Ah! <laughs> Brilliant. Excellent. Thanks for the duel and for your deck, because it's now mine. What the? <laughs> He's a thief? Bronx deck, not so fast. Who are you? The name's Yuma, and I'm Bronx's good friend. <laughs> Buzz off. Or don't you know who you're messing with? Sure I know him. Everyone knows Shark, the school bully. I'm no bully. Bronk and I agreed that whoever won got the other's deck. Is that true? It is. But I had to do it. He challenged me. Called me a big chicken. Fine then. If you're going to challenge my friend, then I'm going to challenge you. You're out of your mind. You're not even close to being in the same league as Shark. Is that a no? I guess that means you're just a big chicken. You know what happened to the last person that called me a chicken? I don't know because it's never ever happened before. Say that we did duel. You want Bronx deck back, but what's in it for me? How about I take your pendant? Hey, give it back! Oh no! Whoops, I dropped it. Hope nothing ha bad happens to it down there like this. Ooh, ooh, guess you're right after all, I am a bully. That's it, you're toast. Why even duel at this point? <laughs> just, have a, just have a fight. Uh, <laughs> this Sunday, the station courtyard. If you want Bronx cards back, be there. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, and then we go straight to episode three. Did we really get that many points? I can't believe it. You actually showed up. All your cards are about to be mine. Sorry, but the only thing you're getting is a good old-fashioned butt kicking. There we go. Just do the fight. Because <laughs> I'm feeling the flow. Oh, God. Let's duel. What's the strongest monster in my hand? I summon Z Zubaba Knight. Your strongest monster only has 1600 attack. Next time, play your weak monster in defense. Although it wouldn't have mattered. Because of this! The spell card Aquajet, my water monster gains 1000 attack. Oh, baby. There it is. Shark Super Spell Combo. Big Jars, it's feeding time. No, Zubaba Knight. Did you really think you could beat me, the best of the best, and win Bronx deck back? Yeah, I kind of did. <laughs> oh, well, there we go. I stomped your little key's pieces and now I'm gonna stomp you. Then maybe you'll learn your lesson, don't pick fights you can't win. That's where you're wrong, Shark. I'll never learn that lesson. No matter how many times I fall or get laughed at, I'll keep trying to high five the sky. Cause when you're feeling the flow, there's no going back. Huh? Oh god, I felt something else. My key! Whoa, I'm in my dream! This is no dream. Have you the courage to unlock this power? It is time to decide, Yuma. Have you the courage? Alright. Let's flow. Oh my days. I am such <laughs> a boomer. <laughs> I might well be, Drago. But we're feeling the flow for it. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. Let's flow. That was weird. And what's going on with him? Possessed Shark. I feel powerful. Yes, Shark. Let the number take hold. I overlay two monsters to build the overlay network. Be born, number 17, Leviathan Dragon. What's a number? This duel's just about done. One more attack and you're through. So much for a comeback. Rise. Huh? 
Rise up. Who are you? Up. Oh, thank you. Excellent stuff. Should we have another, another spin of the wheel? Should we spin the wheel? Let's spin the wheel. Shall we unlock more of the flow? Oh. Oh, crap. Oh, right, so we actually got the really rare, rare one first time. That's... <laughs> that's actually pretty cool. You here to extend your losing streak? What, what the hell are you talking about? If you get 4,000 more points of battle damage on one jewel, 5,000, 6,000. Alright. Let, let's go. Let's go for it, baby. No flow for you. <laughs> but I'm feeling it, Drago. Let me feel the flow. <laughs> oh dear. How interest, Jago, have you played any more Duel Link since there last can we played? Only be one winner. And you're looking at him. Let's go. Yumo mm. would never turn down a duel. So I won't either. Duel. Here I go. Okay, cool. Wow, what no. No, why would I surrender? Um Alright, cool. Over this. Let's Boom. I wonder, should we just do auto duel and see what happens? Because is there actually a drawback for spinning? Oh yeah, you get the white stuff to spin the wheel, right? So perhaps I should actually keep an eye on what I'm doing here. Out of Providence, okay, cool. Um, I mean, still can't really do a lot. And I don't want the auto duel to do anything weird and wonderful. Bruce, I did watch an episode of uh, Zekel No PC to s Oh, too slow. Too slow? <laughs> For Duel Links? Oh, God. That's pretty rough. Uh, okay, so again, drawing stuff that's not really good. Hmm. I suppose I could do Komodo Dragon now, though, right? Set. Let's do it. And turn, thank you very much. Are they going to do the... Oh god, yeah. Exceed, here we go. Is it Tin Man Monster? There we go. Look at it. Just look at it. Oof. To load up it's old. Ah, I see. I see what you mean. Alright, Tin Archduke is here. What's going to happen? You can detach one and attack one more to your opponent and control exchange. Change its battle position. Flip effects are not activated. Um, guess I'll do that. Um, yeah, let's get rid of that one. Is he dead, dead, then? Oh god, now what? Especially someone that face up the first mission. It's effect. <laughs> Rickwood! <laughs> Loving it. I don't know how many Rees Rickwood has uh, popped in, uh, but he's very, very happy with that uh, with that sound clip. <laughs> oh dear. I treat you to a, a nice pleasure. Need to make my presence known. And what better way to. Ooh! What better way to assert dominance? Then with a re or two, right? <laughs> Not so bad. My monster's effect activates. Emerge. There we go. There we go. I end my turn. Here I go. It's okay, so at least we can do some damage now. Oh, there we go. There we go. Let's do this. So bam. So let's go. Boom to here. Ah, just realised I shouldn't have just left my monster like that. Yeah, that really blows. Whoops. <laughs> um, no, that's fine for now. Uh, activate the effects of you know, Eyes of Blue. Yes, please. So My monster's effect activates. 
Excellent, there we go. Okay, fine. We're, we're okay, okay still. We're okay. It's my turn. <laughs> hey, Farshad is here. And with the... Uh, with the asserted uh, exclamation mark carrot. <laughs> Farshad, how are you doing, good sir? How are things your end? Um, you know what? Let's just activate this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, because we've got to do a whole lot of damage in one turn, right? So, what we're going to do is... We're going to change that to that. Do that. Do that. And then we'll be able to rack up a lot of damage on the next turn, which will be good. Excellent. I'm well, Brucey Bruce. Ah, oh, good to hear, man. Good to hear. Uh, you need hydration. Thank you very much, good sir. <laughs> I do appreciate the thought of hydration. How has work been anyway? It's been a while since we've chatted about that. Is it still uh, treating you well? Still all good? Still remote working? Ah. It's been super manic. Oh god. But is that because it's just generally busy, or is it because of, you know, like poor management from what we've been used to in, you know, previous days? Okay, cool. So, what we can do is... We can just activate this effect. And go boom, 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 boom. Excellent. And then, act, uh, oh no 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 no! We want to activate the effect. Blow up, marvelous! And then proceed to the battle phase. Hey, there we go. Generally busy, going through a mad recruitment drive. Oh right. Okay. Is that recruitment drive like, you know, a load of students? As long as it's been planned effectively, then grand, Farshad. That's what I have to say, grand. Alright. I lost, but I won't next time, so let's duel again. How did he duel without a deck, anyway? There you go, so... Duel victory hard, four... Alright, so we've advanced seven spaces, excellent. Oh, we're nearly at the goal, excellent. I'm feeling the flow. Uh, who are you? Astral, if my memory serves me. What do you mean by that? What's going on, Yuma? Who are you talking to? He's losing so bad he's hallucinating. Not only do I not recall who I am, but I do not recall much of anything. Maybe if I just ignore this guy, he'll go away. Ever since this weird number showed up, Shark's been extra creepy. Leviathan Dragon! With this XYZ monster, there's no stopping me from winning this duel. Duel? That word is familiar. Huh? What do you know about dueling? Plenty. Yes, that's it. I can duel. I don't know what you're muttering about, but you can't win. A number monster can only be beat by another number monster. For real? But I don't have any number monsters. Go, Leviathan Dragon! Shockstream Blast! But wait! Ah! What is this? My life force seems to be draining away. I remember now. Numbers are the key to unlocking my sealed memory. And in a duel where number cards are used, the winner absorbs the loser's number cards. You must win, otherwise I will meet a very bad end. Thanks a lot. No pressure or anything. I don't have the cards for a counterattack. How about you zip in and duel? You stay out of this. Stay out of what? <laughs> my talk with my invisible friend. <laughs> this is an amazing duel. You must listen to me for dueling advice, Yuma. Can you at least say please? Stop making dumb mistakes, please. That's not what I meant. On your next draw, we need a card that allows you to summon more than once this turn. Here goes, I draw. It seems that fate has come through for me. Shark, I never give up. Feeling the flow means fighting till the very end. Feeling the flow? 
What are you talking about? It means to do what can't be done. Like finding a way to win this duel. The only thing you're going to find is the bitter taste of disappointment. Play the card you just drew. You must trust me, please. I was going to do that anyhow. From my hand, I activate Monster Reborn. The stage is set. Overlay your two level four monsters. Is that what I think it is? An exceed summon? Got the tension. You can cut it with a knife, right? Pop down. Oh, post check. Thank you very much, Flusher. Uh, it's both students and experienced hire. Oof. Sounds rough, man. Sounds rough. You know what? I'm going to give you a free stretch with your posture check, I think. What's this? Inflict high battle damage? What, what do you mean? What do you mean? Oh, right. As in what I've just done, right? Four more space unto your goal. Oh! After this, we can do the card lottery. Ah, again against Mr. Crunk, or whatever his name is. Oh, I noticed the roulette wheel went bigger, though. Deal four, five, six. Um, so let's do standard jewel again, because I want to maximise how many spaces we get out of this. Hmm. Oh, by the way, Farshad, Saturday. Are you are you busy when I'm streaming? Because I'm doing I'm going to be doing a bit of Jackbox Party. So it's for free. All you've got to do is, you know, go into the room on your phone or your tablet. And then we could play some funny games. How good does that sound? Even, you know, even a Farsad can play as well. Really depends on your schedule. I think it'd be really awesome. <laughs> All right, let's go. Boom, boom, and then boom, boom. He wants your fun times. It's true. I want the one unhappy clown to be happy. A night of pleasure. <laughs> Always. <laughs> what more could you want, right? Uh, Alright, let's play the glowy one, why not? Or, yeah, the glossy one. Boom. Set that, beautiful. Boom, boom. Excellent. Uh, oh yeah, and then we get that as well. Boom. Uh, and then we'll go... Yeah, go on, let's do it. Boom, boom, boom. No cards can stand up to it. Not one. Uh, ever. My turn. My turn. I draw. I activate my spell. Oh god. Must play for the of a wind-up monster is that uh, you can add one level four wind up monster from your deck to your hand. Turn. Interesting, draw. okay. Oh wow, we can just do the Yeah, we can do that. Cool, okay, boom, boom. Um, we could go into... You know, straight into the fusion or activate the spec to get three of the blue eyes out. Three, three... Actually, that was probably going to be best. Never mind, never mind. Watch closely. I synchro summon I'm obviously overthinking things at the moment. Activate. Uh, oh, what can I do here? Activate the effect to get it back to the hand, but I don't want that. Uh, so, proceed to the battle phase. Thank you. Uh, boom. And then boom. And as long as we get one more direct attack in, then we'll be able to keep up with the maximum amount of spaces we can go. Okay, I think... I think we're good. I think we're good. Uh, yes, please. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Yep, no no cards. Excellent. Boom, proceed to battle phase. Dumb, dumb. Bam. Excellent. Easy, easy stuff. Oh, God, what happened here? <laughs> I don't remember seeing him tumble over last time. Hmm. All right, all right, all right, all right. So, do we get the final end of the of the story of feeling the flow? There it is, and then we can spin the lottery as well afterwards. I'm feeling the flow. God, I hate that. Look at your extra deck. Whoa, that is number thirty-nine Utopia. It now belongs to you, Yuma. 
Then let's see what this baby's got, cause I'm feeling the flow, big time. I overlay level 4 Gagaga Magician and Gambara Knight. With these two monsters, I build the overlay network. I exceed summon. Rise on up, number 39, Utopia. Oh baby. Oh baby. Hey, Dark Zilla King. So that new Battle Pass thing is like the biggest scam I've ever seen. It gives us 15 packs once, 300 skill chips uh, once, and times five on the standard duelist. That, um, that's it. No placemats, nothing. I completely agree. I saw that today. Um, and I looked at it. I was like, oh, okay, cool. Seven day trial, free. Sounds good, because it's free, right? And then I was looking at the prices and the other things you get with it. Um, like, <laughs> what, what is it good for? Like, seriously? I think it's just for those with money that just want something extra. Like, I, I, I don't know about you, but I, I don't fancy spending on something that only lasts for 30 days and that's that's it like huh <laughs> uh yeah <laughs> tell me about it uh Zala King. it's it's yeah <laughs> but people will buy it though that's the thing um so for people that it doesn't affect like or, or you know that we know we're not gonna spend money just to get those few packs and that's about it and background music wasn't there which might be nice to sound but why would I want to rent music on a monthly basis like that <laughs> oh dear I would say the only way that thing um, would be viable if it gave you two packs of the new box for the spin of the 30 days and made all the voice actors sound like Carl Weezer <laughs> I would buy that in a heartbeat yeah <laughs> Uh, I would say it would definitely be more incentive, without a doubt, but alas, there you go, there you go. I didn't even realise those past things were coming out, like it's been a week since I've been on this game and saw that and I was like, oh, good. Something else to clog up the notifications bar, you know, on the side somewhere, right? <laughs> oh, right, I'll check out the uh, rest of the chat shortly, we'll just... Do my poor voice acting. I don't even know what most of these guys sound like, but there you go. But mine has more attack, so all that one to summon your number means nothing. There has to be a way to defeat his number. It's my turn. Go, Leviathan Dragon. Shock Stream Blast. I play Bye Bye Damage, which means my monster can say bye bye to being destroyed this turn. I told you to use Utopia's effect. It could have negated the attack. I don't always do as I'm told. Thanks for playing that trap, because now I can play my own trap, Booming Earth Chip. Come my turn, you'll be blasted with a thousand points of damage. Face it, last. Not yet, I'm not giving up. Far from it, because I'm feeling the flow. Exclamation mark, exclamation mark. And now you're going to feel something. The sting of defeat. You believe you still have a way to win? Yeah, I have one last combo in my deck. And all I have to do is draw it. It's my turn. Here I go. I draw. Alright. Go Utopia. Attack Leviathan Dragon. Oh my. And now I activate Utopia's effect. I use an overlay unit to negate that attack. You're a jeweled fool. Why would you negate an attack that you just ordered? I'll show you why. For my hand, I'm playing a spell. Double or nothing. By stopping Utopia's attack, it strength doubles and gets to attack again. 5,000 attack. Go, Utopia. Attack Leviathan Dragon with Rising Sun Slash. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Did I win? I did! I did it! I beat Shark! Oh god! <laughs> what, what happened? <laughs> did you bust him up? What happened? Shark lost that nobody? Let's ditch this dork! Number 17. This number card represents a piece of my memory. But just a small piece. For my memory to truly return, I must collect all 99 number cards. 
Excellent stuff. Honestly, people who actually buy this is dumb as hell. <laughs> I end of the day, I guess. You see, I can't say dumb as hell. It's, I mean, people can spend money how they want, right? Um, do I wish I had spare money to just throw and unlock stuff willy nilly? Of course, but I don't. So I'm going to do the smart thing and not um, waste my money. Um, but yeah. I mean, it is what it is, isn't it? It is what it is. I, uh, at least you won't see a purchase from me. And I'm going to assume not a purchase from you either for it. <laughs> Here, take it. We had a deal. Thanks for giving Brock's deck back. And thank you for keeping a word. You're a good duelist. I'll see you around. Thanks. And hey, maybe we can do this again sometime. Only forget the decks. Let's just do it for good old fashioned fun. You were feeling the flow on that last draw. That is why you risked everything. I have a feeling this is the beginning of a beautiful friendship. If you do as I say. Do as you say, not a chance. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. Out of interest, um, Zala King, have you spent... Uh, uh, oh, is this mine? It can't be. I mean, that's really nice if it is. Wow, is that prismatic as standard? I didn't think they would just give you a prismatic card like that. Um, but yeah, anyway, uh, Zella, I haven't spent any money on this game yet. I don't plan to. I'm going to see how far I can get for free, so I'll probably only have a couple of decks for a while. Um, as you probably saw, Blue Eyes is my main deck, because obviously that's his starter deck, and managed to kind of focus in on it. But yes, uh, hold on, everyone clear, round two. Why is there a round two? Humor and Shark, the Treacherous Tag Jewel. Interesting. Let's have a look at the card lottery anyway. Um, so, boom. Oh, oh, oh. We've actually got something fantastic. Wait, two of these? I've never seen two rainbow colored cards in one lottery draw. Usually you're lucky to just get one. What the hell? I've been playing since this game came out, and I have not put a dime into this game. Nice one, man. I respect that. I respect that. Nor will I ever put any money into this game. Yeah, it's... Some of it is... <sighs> one thing I hate... I don't want to say hate. Um, one thing I'm not a fan of in this game is... It kind of screws you over as a free-to-play person. Things like those starter deck packs that came out of the selection boxes. So if you're using gems, you can only unlock eight packs with it, so you might not get the thing you want. Um, so yeah, I hate that kind of tactic. Um, and I plan to just go as far as I can with freebie stuff too. Have you managed to make many decent decks? I'd imagine if you've been doing it since it's come out, uh, which, what, four years ago? You've probably got a few decent decks, perhaps? Let's see we've got what we've got here. Wow, an ultra rare and a super rare. So a second one of this, not glossy, so you know, not as good as what we just finished up with on that rare. Wait a second. Glossy ZW Leo Arms. And, oh, no, wait, that's, pr that's prismatic. And then we've got two glossies sitting over here also. That's good, right? That's, that's got to be good. Is that good? Zala, you've played this game far more than me. Is this good? Is Prismatic the actual one you can win at the moment? Or am I just extremely lucky? Is that good? It's got to be good, right? Right? That's incredibly lucky. Hot damn. <laughs> nice. Wow. Okay, so even as a free-to-play person you can still get awesome stuff nice i'll happily take that thank you very very much what's the reward list yeah let's just double check yeah it's just standard so i got a, a glossy uh, oh sorry prismatic cat girl magician and a prismatic zw leo arms is there any point in even using any more coins oh draw six. Oh yeah we're not going to do that then 
Wow. That's... All right. All right. <laughs> awesome. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, wow. So we get any of those bonus things. Um, this is area one again. Oh, so it just goes straight for this. So you can just do as much as you want, I guess. All right, cool. Uh, what specials did we get? Defeat Legendary Duelist three times. Collect the Total Temple Automatic card for your rarity cards. Nice indeed. All right, sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Um, oh, Rare Collector as well, which even unlocked. Nice. As you can probably tell, I'm uh, playing on Steam. Uh, shall we do... I don't know. What do you reckon, Salad King? Shall we do more of the event at the moment? Or shall we do a ranked match? Bearing in mind I've only got Blue Eyes White Dragon at the moment. Uh, Blue Eyes White Dragon deck. I'm sitting on 6,000 gems. Shadow just Man just... here. Bring hey! Shadow Legends. <laughs> Invoke is here. Thank you for the raid. I see an Ava as well. Hot damn. Hold on. Oh, oh God. Hold on, I don't think the mods are online at the moment, so let, let me see if I can let me see if I can do this. Invoke, my dude, how was your stream? Um, was it more of the, uh, the the dark or sorry the black reliquy? I can't even say it. Reliquy, reliquy, again, uh, or was you playing something fresh? Uh, and Will is here as well. Will, ah, good to see your face too. I've been meaning to jump onto a couple of your streams recently. It's popped up on my phone. Um, but I've... Hello, hello. Oh. Follow me. Okay. Oh, what's happening? Uh... And Akuma Divine with the follow. Ah, oh, thank you very much. Were you part of the, of the raid? Which I super appreciate if you are. Um, well, I appreciate regardless. A follow is a follow. And you didn't have to, but you did anyway. So thank you very much. Ah, oh. yay! And Akuma, you don't know how glad I am that you're not a bot. My god, my god. I'm glad I'm talking to an actual person, not someone who's just a bot and I'm just, you know, talking nonsense for no reason whatsoever. <laughs> I am the raid member. Excellent, excellent. Oh, why can't British people say reliquy? But, uh, rel reliquary? Reliqu reliqu Reliquary? See, the thing is, with them, um, it, it's a card on here uh, for Yu Gi Oh called the Relinquished. So I always start off with Reliqua. Uh, Reliquary? Reliquary? Alright, I'm going to just stop it. D Darkest Dungeon. Got, got it. Got it. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> Shush, Ava, it's a hard word. That plus, I can't read. You know, I, I don't even take basic instructions that appear on screen. Um, there's there's a lot of stuff I don't take notice of. You know, I mean, people will be talking in the chat and I'll miss a whole bunch of it also. So, uh, <laughs> actually, while I've got all your all your guys, that doesn't make sense. While I've got all your attention, um, this Saturday, uh, I, I won't bore you with the usual spiel of me. You know. Uh, streaming Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturdays. But this Saturday, I'm doing some Jackbox party, uh, 7 p.m. GMT uh, till 10 p.m. GMT. Maybe a bit before, maybe a bit after. I don't know. But if you guys fancy playing for free, because I've got it from the latest Humble Bundle recently, then I'll be hosting that, doing some games, uh, and it'll be really just awesome to play with you. I I've been meaning more and more to do more. Co more and more to do more community um, orientated stuff and it seems to be floating around on the Saturdays so was it last week I did Back for Blood Beta um, and that was really cool uh, playing with viewers and something like Jackbox where I could keep an eye on the chat and laugh at what everyone puts up uh, would be amazing I think it'd be really really awesome um, Mm -hmm. Will, it is a hard word, Ava, it really is. Will knows it too. <laughs> I say this because Will can't say it either. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I had a feeling that might be the case. Yay, Jackbox Poggers! <laughs> ah, Akuma. See, that the follow was well worth it, wasn't it? <laughs> Hi, well done. Bruce, hope you know what I man. What, uh, what I man. What I man. Well, and well done. Oh, Paulina, I know what you mean, if that's what you meant to say. 
what I mean, what I mean, I get you. Um, it is indeed a. Um, I I I, I want to speak some Polish to you, but I I, you know my language of that is limited. It's it's Jin Dobre, right? Right? Yabuko banan. For those that don't know that, I I just said apple and banana. Honestly, my Polish is very very limited. <laughs> Ah, uh, lol, thank you, Bruce. Yeah. <laughs> I never have friends to play Jackbox with. A big Sag. Oh. Well, this will be the first time um, I'm playing it. Like, I've seen people play it online before uh, through other streams. My brother plays it as well, and he has the time of his life. And I'm just kind of sitting there in the background, poor as anything, just like. Um, but yeah, since the subathon I did, and I. You know, the funds from that, which then go back into the stream. I mean, getting discounted Jackbox is, like, awesome. In fact, let me show you what I did. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Hold on. Let me... What am I doing? What am I doing? Uh, display capture. Ah, yeah, there, there we go. Oh, look, and it's on the screen like that. So, I... Where's my sting? Oh, there it is. There it is. So... Um, yeah, you see, I've got... Oh, oh God, I've got so many games. Uh, yeah, I, I can't scroll like this. I mean, l look at this. It's, it's just stupid. I need to stream more so I can actually touch um, at least 1% of what I have in there. But, yeah, you see, you've got... Um, where is it? Obviously, Darkest Dungeon, that's not really a community game. Uh, Drawful 2, Quiplash, Fibbage XL... Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven Jackbox parties. So I've got them installed. They are ready. We are going to do this. Um, hopefully I don't mess up the setup straight away. I'm sure it's easy enough. Um, the Jackbox website makes it sound easy enough to set up. Like I just say what code is there and then I guess people just scramble to fill in those eight spaces, right? So yeah, and we're going to do that a lot. So even if people don't go in into the first game, then I, I think there's a viewer thing you can join anyway. But yeah, then we'll be able to have you in for the second game. Like I'll try to keep an eye on who can come in, who can't, etc. It, it's just going to be super awesome. Super, super awesome. Uh, thank you, uh, my... Oh, gosh. Kvatsky? 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 Kvatsky, sorry. Uh, or Tia Moa... Krolova. Oh! <laughs> um, uh, is that Moya Krolova? Is that my queen? My, my queen, right? <laughs> yes. Um, Mo Moy Kvats... What's Kvats... 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 I can't, I, can't, I can't even say it. <laughs> <laughs> That's the problem. Saying Polish and reading it is completely different things as well. Um, Paulina, you must have gone through the same thing with English, to be fair, so <laughs> be gentle with me. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. I was in a duel. It took me a hot minute because I was using forever uh, higher against the dumb AF trap deck. Ah, yes, that must be a pain in the backside, um, Salah. I was just saying about the Jackbox Party stuff. You probably heard me talking about that now. But yeah, if you're up for something different from Yu-Gi-Oh, then that's, that's what's happening on a Saturday. We're going to throw down some rap battles. Oh, baby. <laughs> uh, fur for hire. <laughs> what sorts of games do you like, Brucey? Uh, yeah, there is a viewer mod for the game. Awesome stuff. Awesome. Um, I love all sorts, honestly, Akuma. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm, I wish I could say my love for Darkest Dungeon um, was ultimate, but uh, Invoke puts me to shame on that, I'm sad to say, and... He, he he makes me want to be better and explore more of Darkest Dungeon, but you know how it is with the time of day. Um, so yeah, I really love games like that. Um, in terms of streaming, I've been doing... Well, I mean, you can see on here, I've done Horizon Zero Dawn. Uh, Hades, super awesome game. I heavily suggest that. Uh, what else? Witcher 3, I've clocked up so much on that. Um, let's go to... Boom. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Things. This is a new PC, so this might not be true as to what I've played in the past. But um, honestly, you, you can see from here, I've got a, a, plethora, a plethora 
of things that I like. Cuphead, super good game. I'd suggest that other side. That's a really good indie um, strategy game. Subnautica, st stupidly pretty. Killer Instinct takes me back to my roots because I'm a bit of an old boy. Um, so I had a, a Nintendo Entertainment System when growing up. Um, had a SNES and played Killer Instinct on that. Oh, dude, honestly, I love it so much. I'm not usually a fan of sports games. That, that's probably my weakness, I guess you could say. Um, but yeah, I love all sorts, especially something funky and fresh. Uh, yeah, yeah, mainstream, not so mainstream, love it. As long as I could get it at a discount, because I'm, I'm a bit cheap and funds are kind of low at the moment. I mean, seriously, like, there's 20 quid in my bank account. I've got a, um, a somewhat chunky credit card bill. And I don't get paid until the end of this month. So, yeah, no, 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 no. I mean, maybe if it gave me money, perhaps, but, you know, we, we, we won't talk about that. Maybe maybe on a different account, like maybe on an, on an OnlyFans account. Yeah, you know, we, we could do some sort of goal there. Yeah, I, th I think that'd be great. <laughs> um, how is Paula? Uh, yeah. <coughs> oh, sorry, excuse me. I promise I wasn't allergic to my girlfriend. Jeez. Uh, Paula's good. She... I'm not sure if you, she's uh, in the house right now, but I think she might have gone to the gym. She's doing awesome. Um, and obviously she's happy with the news that has um, come. Um, for those that don't know, and I do apologise if this is a bit too much information, especially from a raid... Um, but I've been in a bit of a difficult situation um, due to uh, pa a past, I don't want to say a past life, that sounds like I've, you know, come off of crack or, you know, <laughs> been an alcoholic and been sent to the streets and whatnot. Um, but yeah, I've had an issue um, with, I, I guess I'll, I'll just say, you know, with an ex, um, been battling for ages um to try and get everything finalized and literally as of yesterday um the judges put down the hammer to say right you can now sell your house and that's it be done with it um and everything else is just sorted so i'm going to be on the stage now to get to sell the house then finally move out at some point instead of um you know my current situation which i'm still grateful for i could have no place to live whatsoever or be in a a really bad situation but yeah then I'll be able to have like a, a proper stream set up um, and you know just my own space again which would be super super nice so there, there's good news happening it's taken its toll but we've we've we, we've hit the good stuff now which is great um, do you enjoy strategy games I do love a good strategy game yeah absolutely um, one of my favourite strategy games, especially from the past, was Civilization 3. Um, my girlfriend, Paula, uh, she also likes strategy games. She's a fan of Heroes of Might and Magic, um, as that was quite big in Poland and Eastern Europe, apparently. Um, so, yeah, I do love strategy. Uh, I would class Darkest Dungeon as strategy as well. I, d I do love random things like that where you could miss, um, increase you know, your attack, you know, buffs like that. Uh, Am I into the current civilizations and stuff? Eh, I don't know. Um, but that's probably something I might not stream, because that you have to kind of really get into, and that could take a while. Um, but yeah, I do like strategy, absolutely. As you can see from my library, I also like mindless blowing things up too, but not like... Um, I mean, maybe it would be cool to play a Call of Duty game or something again, but I haven't played that since the Xbox 360. What, Call of Duty... Um, I forget what it's even called. The fourth one that came out. Uh, not the redone one either. That was the, the last one. But yeah, man. I, I love all sorts. <clears throat> as long as it's a good game. Great. You know. And as you can tell from what I'm playing, Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, wait, that's the wrong screen. Uh, ah, I'll just leave it on this anyway. Uh, yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh. I love card games too. I need to get back into Gwent as I was heavily into the beta and then they changed it all up and I was like, what the hell is this? But yeah, man, strategy is good. Love it. Uh, I kind of wish the game had some more classes to play with. It's true. It's true. Uh, it's a shame you unlock the Sith Dancer, I think it's called, um, sort of a lot later in the game. 
but it's good that they've updated it recently with the seed setting so if you wanted to hit high scores and things like that or try and get really good times or fewest moves etc etc um, then you can use seed codes which is something that wasn't in the initial part of the game but you know what overall I'd say solid game very solid game I've got it on discount um, is there much replayability if it wasn't for the seed system I'd probably say no other than trying to beat your own you know high score or recollection score but I, I enjoy it I enjoy it considering it's a first like that from the indie developer uh, Lightbulb crew um, in and speaking of which the crew are really cool they tend to respond to tweets and whatnot of it and they actually ended up giving me um, two gift keys to um, you know give as gifts uh, to stream other side when the update came out so you know, besides the game, I would actually say the crew themselves are, are pretty solid, uh, which has no bearing on the game itself. But, you know, it builds up a bit of loyalty to them. So I'll be keen to see what they do next, uh, whether it be an update to other side or not. Uh, oh, Ava with the... <laughs> oh God, Ava, what, why, why the head in the hands? Oh no! <laughs> On an only Bruce account, you pushed her down the stairs finally. No! no oh, oh, fuck that. <laughs> no, as much as, you know, pain was an option and probably needed, it was all done through the proper channels. It actually sped up once things went to the court. It cost a lot. Hot oh, damn, this has cost a lot. Uh, hence me being poor as, uh, poor and in dirt. But, you know... It's finally getting to the closing stages. I just really hope someone buys the house now. <laughs> and then that's it. Done. Oh my god, that's great news. Thank you, Will. How exciting. Again, thanks, Kuma. Oh my god, yikes on bikes. <laughs> yeah, indeed, Ava. It's been, it's been funky. To, well, funky is the wrong word. It's been something, to say the least. Definitely a day to celebrate. I wish I could celebrate with a seven bone or something. But, again, I'm, unless I somehow sneak into the... The, the kitchen of that restaurant and just steal the stuff or make my own stuff without being seen it's probably not very likely but I will celebrate properly at some point hey let's celebrate with Jackbox party we can do that at the very least right <laughs> uh, I feel I feel you Bruce ah oh, thank you Akuma I'm happy for you again thanks guys uh, always nice to have your own space yeah you know what it's so liberating when uh, I'm not sure how many um can feel this in the chat but yeah getting your own, your own space is so different um to you know living with parents and whatnot and when i did it ages ago i, I was excited yeah it was a pain in the ass learning to cook for yourself and all that but it's super exciting again you have your own space you do what you want it's great and then to have that taken away from you again nothing wrong with my current situation like i'm super grateful to be in a uh, Paula's family home but nothing's truly your space is it um, and I don't want to be treading on eggshells or I don't know that's not the case but you know they've been very welcoming um, but I still don't want to do anything that can offend or um, and, and even, even just little things like saucepans and whatnot that just move in the kitchen it's like, oh, come on. Like, you don't get that if it's, if it's your own place. Uh, well, uh, unless Paula and I, you know, move out and then Paula starts moving the saucepans just to <laughs> keep up the tradition. But, yeah, you, you get what I mean. Having your own space, it, it's a key moment. To have that taken away from you, oof, it's, it's brutal. It's brutal. Um, number one. Oh, thanks, Marsha. Are you going to look at Total Warhammer 3 coming out soon? I might have a look at it, but I'll be honest, I haven't played... Um, any of the Warhammer games I've got. Like, if we have a little look over here. I mean, look at all this. Look at it, look, look at it. I've got all of this lot. I haven't touched any of it. Um, is that an alpha I've got? Why the hell have I got an alpha? Assembly kit beta, Jesus. Where did I pick this stuff up from? Uh, it's always intrigued me. I've wanted to get into it, but then you know how it is. If you've got a huge library, I just, I just haven't got around to it, which really, really sucks. Uh, I think you'll like a game like that. I think so too, Akuma, I really do. You could try Quake Remake, Remaster. You know what you mentioned about that? Uh... Oh, by the way, this is what I was saying. I want to do um, 
if people are interested, I would love to do this for a spoopy October stream. Um, is it possible to, you know, let's let's shush the the jewel links. Hold on, let, let, let's get out of this. Boom, boom. All right, cool. Because we don't want that to ruin this. But for those that haven't seen this, I think this would be a really funky. Oh god, sorry. <laughs> Rip headphone users. But yeah, I saw this. This came up on the um, the Steam store page, and I thought, wow, this actually looks like a really decent alien game. Because it's you and your buddies, and you're just going through campaign um, with waves of enemies, and the fact it's aliens, oh, it, it gets me kind of excited for it. I mean, like face huggers, all that sort of stuff. Apparently there's all sorts of different breeds and you unlock different classes again. Um, and again, it's just that co-op aspect. I love co-op. Um, as a, it, it, Obviously co-op as a team. You know, when you're trying to beat the game as a team. I, I love it. I love it. Uh, that's similar for board games as well. Uh, I love Pandemic. Um, Zombicide. That sort of thing where you as a team try to beat the board or the game. And this is actually quite new. It's been rated fairly pos positively so far. So yeah, I I want I do want some of that action. Anyway, what was we talking about? Um, blah, 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 blah. Quake. Uh... <laughs> is that your best alien impression, Rickwood? <laughs> I just hope it's not going to be a disappointment like Colonial Marines. I never played it, but it's... Um, what's the word? It's Infamy precedes it by mile. <laughs> so, yeah, probably not going to touch that, right? Um, Quake Remake? No? What's it, what's it called? What, what, what's just Quake Remake? Um, let's just go to this and then go... I love you put Quake and the second thing that appears is Doom. Amazing. Uh, yeah, which one's the remake, Drago? Uh, anyway, what have I missed? I know I've missed a lot of chatter before. Um, I'm sure you must be excited for Darkest Dungeon 2 as well. Absolutely. You know what? I actually caved and put in the... Um, God, what was it? The Epic Games Launcher 2 because of the free games. And I missed out on Plague Tale for free, which apparently is supposed to be amazing, an amazing game. So I downloaded the launcher, actually missed that. Um, and then, yeah, whatever Darkest Dungeon 2 appears on first, I want it. I want it. I'm super excited for that. Absolutely. Um... I would have pushed her down the stairs for half the price. <laughs> I love you, Farshad. <laughs> um, yeah, you don't have to explain. Living in someone else's house is not ideal. Yeah, it, it is what it is. But at least there is a roof over my head. Um, if you don't see me streaming, you know I've been kicked out. <laughs> I'm attending a trade school right now. So I don't have my own space right now, but I know that once I finish my advanced training, I can work at a $20 an hour job as a chef. I can get my own place. Yeah, I mean, at that rate, it's that's the thing. That's building a future for yourself, isn't it? You know, you're working towards it and then boom, this is what you're going to get. So super appreciate that, dude. And it'll be so worth it once you uh, um, once you get that. Make the dream a reality. Uh, I just bought that game. Buy it. Which one's that, Farshad? Is it the... Uh, the Quake, uh, Mr. Fast, I bought it to. Is it the Quake or is it the Aliens ones? Because if hey, if it's Aliens, then you know the three player, we can we can do this. Is it crossplay though? That is the question. I'd be interested, but I would have to see how I could join. Um, this looks like an instant purchase. It does, doesn't it? Will absolutely. <laughs> it just looks so awesome. That's the only trailer I've seen, and that alone made me go wish list. You know, straight off the bat. Uh, I'm going to look, Bruce. I hope you have a good rest of the stream. Ava, thank you so much for popping in. We will actually be moving the stream very shortly anyway, so if I don't catch you back here, I 
hope the rest of the week goes well for you and I'll see you again soon. And it's been super awesome chatting with you. Uh, it's been a little while, so super appreciate you. Um, by the way, did my shout out actually go through properly? I didn't actually check that. I can't... Yeah, it did. Excellent stuff. Excellent stuff. Okay, what, what else have we got? It's probably the top one. Is it? Let's have a little look. Quake. So it's just called Quake for seven ninety nine. Release date. Probably not this. <laughs> Unless you've just been thoroughly conned, Drago, and say, yeah, yeah, this is the remake. It's, you know, it's a, a, a fresh... <laughs> yeah, fresh 15 years old. <laughs> Still a baby, right? <laughs> uh, what else? It's got to be similar ones here, right? Uh, major update, Thursday, August 19th. Maybe it is about this game. Girlfriend features cross-play, dedicated service for online differential, free optional add-ons, blah, 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 blah. will automatically receive the new enhanced version with a free download. Ah. In that case, you're right. Well, blow me down. It is a fresh 15 years. <laughs> still just a baby. Still a newborn. <laughs> Tell you what, let's, let's just go to the library really quickly. Do I have a quake of sorts? Uh, I have Quake Champions, which probably is not that at all. Uh, I have to head out too. Thank you so much for the welcome, Bruce, and everyone. Ah, oh, well, no, again, thank you so much for joining us part of the raid. It's been awesome catching up with you too. Um, hope you have an amazing evening and rest of your stream. Thank you, dude. Honestly, like I say, we'll be shifting it soon. So I'm super glad, uh, you know, you've popped on in as well uh, and we've got to chat. So thank you very much. And I hope the rest of your week goes awesomely too. Um, it was blurry for someone, uh, for some reason, uh, Drago says. Uh, the stream, I mean. Oh, oh no, I'm sorry. Um, aliens. Excellent, Farshad. Uh, I'll link you, sweet Jago. We have been sent back in time. <laughs> it's so fresh. We've made it a blast from the past. It is not, but yeah, Quake Remaster is so good, actually. Awesome, awesome. You know what? Maybe I'll put that on the wish list as well, because why the hell not? Right, I, I've been going over 20 minutes over the um, allotted time. Uh, Akuma, just as a, a little heads up, because I know you're you're fresh to the Nintendo scene. Um, again, I stream Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Tuesdays is usually Yu-Gi-Oh! Thursdays is usually something random. And Saturday is um, usually a longer game of something. Um, although, like I say, lately it's been community-based. And like I say, Jackbox! 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 Um, I do 7pm till 9pm GMT, unless it's a Saturday where I do an extra hour. Um, I don't know how that translates over in the US. But morning-ish slash afternoon-ish time. Either way, it would be awesome, especially with your Jackbox hype, to see you in on the Saturday, you know. Um, yeah, I can't wait. It's going to be awesome, uh, regardless. Uh, what's been your favourite trading card game? Oh, that, that's a tough one. thing is, Yu-Gi-Oh! has always got a soft spot in my heart because I used to collect it and I used to enter tournaments with it as well. So, you know... When it first came out, um, well, in Europe, you only had Legend of Blue Eyes. And in America, they released, I think, four sets by that point, or maybe even three sets. Uh, so, yeah, Europe was just Legend of Blue Eyes, so I collected from that point. Unfortunately, due to my situation, which I've mentioned many a time on stream before, I've had to sell off my first edition collection just to make ends meet, which really bloody blows. Um, so yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh! will always have a soft spot in my heart. Um, other than that, did I really do any other trading card games? I've done a bit of Pokemon, that was awesome. Um, like I say, a bit of Gwent as well. <clears throat> on, uh, on Steam, or sorry, on GOG when it was in the beta back in the day. I also want to, although it's not a TCG per se... Um, I've been told Slay the Spire is quite a nice card game to download. Again, it's like random stuff, so not really a TCG. I'm, I'm just making stuff up. It's actually not what you asked in your question. But it's, it's fine, you know. So those are the ones that have my, a soft spot. Yu-Gi-Oh! Big soft spot. Yu-Gi-Oh! Legit made a sushi archetype. It's so funny. No way. <laughs> I guess they're running out of uh, ideas. Um... 
hot damn, yeah. I, what, what the hell was the sushi archetype? For me, back in the day, my big deck, my big deck was um, either burn deck, which some people hated, but it was a cool burn because it was actually aggressive and I'd bust out things like a Jinzo and start attacking with it as well, or relinquished. Relinquished, oh, amazing. Loved it back in the day, loved it. I would also use Chaos Emperor Dragon back from back in the day, Invasion of Chaos Days, uh, before it was banned. Um, yeah, yeah, it was super, super awesome. Uh, right, let's do that. So it's kind of a blank screen at the moment. It's fine. You guys don't want to see me messing about with raiding and whatnot. Um, so, ba 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 ba. Who have we got to raid? You know what? <laughs> Well timed, Rickwood. How about we raid um, Shulzy? Oh, has someone else followed or have they not? The alert didn't go away. off unless I've missed it. Um, hold on a second. Yeah, Hoss00312 followed me apparently. Oh, sorry if I've missed you in the raid. <laughs> unless you're a bot. But, you know, speak up now. See, Akuma, this is what I was talking about. <laughs> I, I hope, though, Hoss, you are genuine. Uh, do feel free to say hi before we do another raid. Um, if you are a bot, then beep, beep, boop, boop. Um, but, yeah, otherwise, awesome to have you. Uh, right. Where are we going, boss? That sounds pretty botty. It does, if they're just numbers. It does, but you know what? You might be surprised. I'm thinking, you know what, does anyone have any suggestions of who we should raid? Because otherwise, there is someone, uh, there is Sholzy, who is playing Alien Isolation. And, uh, you know, off the back of talking about Alien, I think that'd be pretty awesome. But otherwise, if someone has any suggestions, then grand. Um, more than happy to, um, you know, raid in place there. Uh, da, 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 da. In the meantime, I'm just going to get my usual boomer setup going on, so bear with me. Uh, bu, 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 bu. Yep, that's cool. Oh wow, she's got no adverts on. That's amazing. That's something I've still got to work out as well. Oh, you know, I'll save that for another stream or Discord um, chatting anyway. So... Oh god, I'm such a boomer. Ah, uh, there we go. Okay, sweet. If you're a bot, if you, yeah. <laughs> indeed, indeed. Right, let's do it then. Uh, as there's no suggestions, we'll go for Shulzy. She's a pretty cool streamer. Very, very chatty. Um, and you know, most of the time she has a bunny cam. Uh, does she have a bunny cam now? No, she doesn't have the bunny cam at the moment. That's a shame. Okay, oh, she looks rather... Hmm, something's up. Then let's cheer her up. Maybe she's talking about something rather in-depth. Hopefully not politics or anything. Whatever. No buddy cam, I'm out. Ah, oh, I'm sorry, Rickwood. <laughs> well, on that po... Oh, Akuma, sorry. Re the re Just before we do the raid, actually. Um, re is Rickwood specific. So you can use 10,000 channel points to, ha to have your own custom sound effect clip. Re <laughs> and Rickwood really loves it. It's only active since today, and he he's fallen in love with it. So, yes, if you get um, 10,000 channel points, you can send me the clip. In fact, Invoke has his own um, sound clip that he won off of the subathon. <laughs> um, and, yeah, it doesn't matter if you're a subscriber or not. That is yours to keep from that point onwards. So, I mean, not, not saying that's a plug to, you know, maybe join me more often but i mean hey it's a, it's a pretty good incentive <laughs> i got you <laughs> rickwood reese for akuma amazing ah oh, well let's get the raid started then um everyone been an awesome stream um been an awesome raid from the uh, amazing invoke and Akuma, it is a pleasure to make your acquaintance, good sir. Hopefully we get to chat more. Um, on that note, people, have an amazing week. If I see you Thursday, great. If not, I'll see you at some point. I hope it's awesome nonetheless. And until next time, you guys take care, and I will see you again soon. Let's raid, people. <laughs>